Here at Seniority, one of our most important focuses is on getting you found, getting you views, getting you traffic. And one of the ways that we've really made some changes with this last rollout is we started to really look at how users were using the site, we were mapping their usage, we were also looking at how we were being indexed, and how the search engine trends were changing and what we needed to do to make sure that your listings were really being indexed well. One of the things that's really changed a lot over the last two years, but but most assuredly over the last six months, has been the emphasis on content. Content is words, and Google likes lots of words. They really do, and not just any words. They're the kind of words that people are looking for. Long words, full sentences of words, long search phrases, things like assisted living features in Alabama, assisted living features in Birmingham, um, skilled nursing in Birmingham, things like that, low income um, senior apartments in Birmingham. And so one of the things that we try to focus on with the new layouts is not having the content broken up into little tiny itty bits, but to have full, big textual areas. And so we've changed the way that we're asking for your information. Instead of having a bunch of checklists that um, just have, you know, one, one check after another, check it has this, check it has that, check it has this other thing. Instead of that, we want to hear in your own words what makes it special because it is those words that is going to help you stand out in a crowd when you're being indexed by Google. So how do you get your words into your listing? Well, like anything else, you go to the edit listing, which is located under the little cog icon, and you just scroll down. And just depending on what you've gotten checked off, if you're the type of a provider that has multiple care levels, you're going to have a lot more textual fields that you have to fill in in order for it to be really relevant content to that subject type. So if it's assisted living care level that you have, then you're going to need some content about assisted living. Um, if you're like a low income, you're only going to have just the basic description area, and we suggest you fill that up and, and put as much content in it as you can. And so you can see here, the first thing you're going to have is an overall community description. And we really recommend that you use things like location features, what's around you, what are the, the the bergs and the areas around you, things that are known in your area. If you live in Birmingham and you and you service um, the area of Homewood known as Edgewood, there may be people looking specifically for Edgewood. If you have a particular berg in, in Birmingham, you need to mention that as well, just to make sure that those people that are really looking for that area can locate you, but also make sure you're using a lot of information about the features that you have because people really want to know what sets you apart. When you do have the different care levels, then you will have fields that open up that are specific to those care levels. So like you'll have, if you've checked assisted living information, you're going to have assisted living information fields open to you. You'll have things like the availability, the starting price, which we highly recommend, and assisted living specific features, services, and amenities. So you want to be able to take the information that is specific to assisted living, everything you can think of that sets you apart, and put it into this field. And for any uh, care level field that you've got, you want to use those descriptors. And as a bonus, if you go all the way down to the bottom, you have your own control over your meta description and your meta keywords. So this is the stuff that describes to people, um, to people that are searching in Google, um, the meta description comes up. It is that little blurb that shows up underneath your title. So whatever it is you want to use to draw people into that, to drawing them into clicking on that link, because it's almost competition. When you do a search on Google or Bing or Yahoo and the title comes up of, let's say, 10 
different prospective things, um, you want to you're, you're reading that meta description to kind of decide if that's the right one or if the next one's the right one. And so people want to read and they don't want to click on things that really don't pertain to their search. So they kind of filter through those descriptions. And if your description is boring and bland, they're going to think that your facility or community or your service is boring or bland. So you want to use this description area to write something you know, you've only got about 160 characters, but something that really sells. And that way people will click on your listing to come to your page. And of course, when you get done, you just hit save, and then you can return back, click on your title in your, in your breadcrumb there, and go down and read your content. See how it looks to you. See if it, it stands out. Um, each of the uh, content area, areas are highlighted. They stand out, so they give the um, site visitor as much information as they need. And let me tell you, there's not a lot of information out there. If you go and you look at all of these other referral agencies that are trying to pawn themselves off as, as uh, actual informational uh, provider directories, um, they fall way short. They give very little information that's really pertinent to you. So it's it's up to you. It's um, going to help you and it's going to help Google to find you. So take advantage of these fields that you have and take advantage of all of the text that you can use to write to describe the very best things that set you apart. Good luck!